Hey everyone, I'm going to make a PLL intro video that will serve to explain where the probabilities associated with certain PLL cases goes and uh, demonstrate that the total number of uh, cases, well, positions is 72, not 21. And here we go. So we're going to start with the first position that you can get to, which is solved. There's only one way to have the cube solved. So our total count is 1, and the probability is 1 in 72, 1 over the total. The next case is the UCW algorithm. This can occur in four different ways. Um, you can rotate uh, the cube, like uh, you could have the green side solved, or the red side solved, or the blue side solved, or the orange side solved, if you solve like I do with the yellow on top. Right? There's four ways this could be uh, oriented. So you have four ways that this could happen for a total of five cases so far. Probability 4 over 72 or 1 18th. That's going to be our normal case. Same story for the UCCW algorithm. Brings our total up to 9. There's four ways for this to occur. Probability 1 in 18. The ACCW algorithm. Same thing, one corner can be solved, but there's four corners that could be solved, so there's four ways this can arise, probability 1 18th, 13 total cases. The ACW, it's mirror. There's, yet again, four ways, 1 18th probability, total 17. The Z algorithm, however, can only happen in two ways. Either these two need to be swapped, or these two need to be swapped. But if it's these two, that coincides with this other one. It coincides with the first. So we're really only dealing with rotational symmetry. There's two ways this can occur. Probability 2 seconds or 1 36th, 19 total cases. The H algorithm. If you have to do the H algorithm, it's symmetric. So there's only one way this can happen. 20 total cases, probability 1 in 72. E algorithm can only happen in two different ways. The arrows can be horizontal or vertical, but you rotate the cube to always make them vertical, but there's only two ways that could happen, this way or this way. So that's 1 32nd probability, 22 total cases. T algorithm. Uh, this could happen in all four different directions, and they'd be distinct on all four different faces. So, 1 18th probability, 26 cases. The V algorithm, same thing. Four ways it could happen, 30 total cases, probability 1 18th. F algorithm, same thing. Four ways this could happen rotationally, 34 total cases. The RA algorithm, same thing. If you rotate the cube and do this algorithm, it's there's four separate ways this can happen, so 38 total cases. The RB algorithm, same story, 42 total cases. The JA algorithm, four ways it can happen, 46 cases. JB algorithm, again, four ways, 50 cases. The Y algorithm, again, four ways it can happen, so we end up with 54 cases. GA algorithm, GB algorithm, GC algorithm, and GD algorithm, 40, four cases each, 70 total. Two more algorithms, they must be unique. If the NA algorithm happens, it's either these two swap the, with these two, or these two swap with these two. If you try to do it in any other way, you just end up cycling between those two. But as a matter of fact, now they're the identical. So these two need to swap. We're good. If it's these two, rotate the cube, and it's back to the same thing. So as a matter of fact, there's only one way this can happen, and one way the NB can happen. So there's your 72 total cases for PLL. They can be solved with 21 different algorithms because the first case is trivial and it's down by four for most of these. So there you have it if you ever wonder why people come up with these various different claims of what the probabilities are. Anyway, uh, let me know if there's any questions or anything, any details you'd like to see fleshed out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.